This is my DeWalt 3400 PSI power washer with a Honda GX200 engine and a 8.7 GA12 pump. I've had it for about six years and the last couple of times I used it, it was, it run for five, six or seven minutes and then it would bog down and just quit. It would start back up pretty easily at each time, but as soon as I turned the wand back on and started to use it again, it run for 10, 15 seconds and then quit again. So the fix was to replace the thermal relief valve. And if you want to know how I came to that conclusion, continue to watch. After experiencing the engine stalling problem under load a couple of times, I searched YouTube for a fix and there were several suggestions. The first was fuel cap might be clogged. So I shot some air through it. Also, I even left it off and ran the engine and, and still experienced the same problem. Another suggestion was that the carburetor was dirty. I had pre previously cleaned that recently, so I was pretty sure, certain that wasn't a problem. Also, the oil sensor was a suggestion that the oil might be low and it might be uh, sensing the low oil. The, the suggestion was to unplug the oil sensor so I tried that. I also changed the oil and, and there was no, no solution there. Another suggestion was the, the valve the, that controls the pressure might be a problem. Uh, so I took that apart, looked for any issues, didn't find any. Tried to, I also even tried changing the oil on the, on the pump and that didn't resolve anything. So I was, I was prepared to just replace the whole pump assembly. Uh, but in the end, 200 for $250. But before I did that, I decided to just take the pump apart and see if I noticed any problems that might be causing the issue. The first thing I took off <laughs> by chance was the thermal relief valve. And this is what this is the old valve, and this is what I found. It isn't as bad as it was when I first took it off. I, I have since cleaned it out a little bit, but this valve has deteriorated. There's a few threads that are missing, and the valve itself is caked with calcium. We have pretty hard water here, and. Uh, it just was caked up so i guess it just got to a point where it just no longer worked when i replaced this valve it i had no problems with it i've run it for about an hour since since replacing this replacing this valve no issues at all so before you go spending 250 dollars to replace this entire pump if you're having the same symptoms, which were the, the washer would run for about five or seven minutes and then for no apparent reason would under load would start to bog down and just quit. Take a look at this thermal relief valve. See if that's your problem.